again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. And today we have got ourselves the Arches Filet Shawl. Really simple. Once you get into the groove, it's only a five row repeat. And the construction, very simple. As it's filet, it's just double crochets and chain stitches. Really, really easy once you get there. And also, I want to give a big thank you to my, my helpful testers that helped me make sure that this pattern was up to snuff. Really want to thank them for their efforts and their work. I really appreciate it. And so this pattern is actually available on my Etsy store. Link in the description box down below if you want to check that out. I'd really appreciate it. As for the project itself, I used a five millimeter size H crochet hook, and I also used a skein of Burnett Baby Sport. And I only needed the one skein for the entire shawl, and that was pretty awesome. And for those of you that need the, the specs, it is 100% acrylic. It is a weight of three, it's nice and thin, and it is about 1,077 yards. Now, of course, you can use whatever yarn and hook size works for you. Um, you know, I wouldn't suggest necessarily going past a, a weight of four yarn. And if you do, you know, just be sure that you use a hook size that goes with the weight of yarn. You know, other than that, you know, have fun. Um, one other thing that I would recommend go with a solid color of yarn because with fillet work you want the you know the lace work the pattern work to do you know the talking not necessarily the color way might be a little distracting from this gorgeousness going on here yeah so without further ado let's get started okay row one going to start off with a slip knot as per usual and a chaining of four. Now the chaining of four, it counts as a double crochet and that first chain that we have there, that is what we're gonna be working into. If you have an alternative method, by all means, go right ahead. I think this looks a little bit neater. You could always do a chaining of four, slip stitch to the first chain to create a ring and then work from there. Personally, I think this looks a little bit better. So after chaining up four into that first chain, two double crochet stitches, and that's it for the first row. We're starting at the tip, and every row we're going to be increasing on both sides, the beginning and the end of the row, for our increasing. But that, my friends, that is it for row one. Oh, yeah. Okay, row two, start off by chaining up three and turn the work and then into this very first stitch, two double crochet stitches. That's our increase. There we are. Then into that middle double crochet, just one double crochet stitch. And then into the last double, three double crochet stitches. So the first and last stitch is where you do your, your, uh, your increasing. There we go, where you have multiple stitches going in there. So into that last stitch there, three double crochets. And most of the rows are just like this with one exception. We'll get to that later, but right now the increasing is very, very simple and straightforward. So we went from three stitches up to seven stitches, increasing two on either side. So that's row two. Okay, row three, pretty much essentially the same as row two. Chain up three. 
and turn two doubles into the first stitch. And then a double in each of the one, two, three, four, five stitches. And then on that last stitch, we're going to increase again. So we're going to be going from seven stitches all the way up to 11 stitches. So pretty, pretty straightforward to begin with. We haven't introduced any eyelets yet, but that will happen soon enough. Okay, and we reached the last stitch. This one has a tendency of getting left behind, missed, what have you. Um, something you may want to consider doing is put a stitch marker in that last stitch so that you don't forget it. It's easy to do. So you may want to consider doing that if you have a problem um, with the count. And that's the thing about fillet work. The, the numerics, the count, it's very, very important because you know, even though you don't have to be a whiz at math, the math in this totally matters. So there you go. We now have 11 stitches. Okay, row four, going to be doing again the same thing. One, two, three chains, turn the work, two doubles into that first stitch. a double into each stitch all the way across, and then into the last stitch at the end, three doubles. And that means that we will have a total of 15 stitches after we finish this row. And then we can get into the fun stuff. Then we can start incorporating some eyelets. But you gotta start from somewhere. Okay, just a few more to go. Okay, and then the very end here, right there. Get into the top of that last stitch. There we go. And three doubles. And there you go. So that is the end of row four. Okay, row five. Row five is going to be a little bit different because we're going to start with an eyelet. Now to do that, start by chaining up four. And that is going to act as a double crochet and a chain one space. Then just one double crochet into that first stitch. And that is going to be our increase for the edge because it acts as a double chain one double that acts as the same amount of space as three doubles. So that's our increase. And then we need an additional stitch for each stitch all the way across. And it is, I believe, going to be a total of 15 stitches. So we already have three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-
13, 14, and into this last stitch. We have 15, chain one, and double into that same stitch for the increase. There we are. So we have an eyelet at the beginning as well as at the end there. And there you go. So that is the, the end of row five. Okay, row six. Well, row six is going to start off like the, the previous rows. So start off by chaining up three for our first double. Turn the work and then into that first stitch right there, two doubles for the increase. There we are. And then double into the next two stitches, first into the chain space, and then into the next double Okay, then we need an eyelet. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next. So we our eyelets are going to start traveling in a upwards diagonal fashion. And so I need another 10 more for a total of 11. So we have ourselves two. Three, kind of, kind of, sort of, ish. There we go. Now I've got three. And just keep going until I hit 11. Okay, already got five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. All right, then chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next. Double into that chain space. There we go. And then into the top of this last double. It can be a little bit tricky to figure out exactly where you need to go. It's the third chain from the bottom. So it's into that chain right there. Working into that chain. Technically, you could work into the chain space, but I think this looks a little bit neater. So into that third chain from the bottom, three double crochets to finish up the row. And there you are. So quick recap. We've got five space, 11 space, five, or if you just leave out the spaces, five, 11, and five. And there you go. Okay, so row seven is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be sort of bridging the gap between this eyelet and this eyelet with a series of eyelets. We'll get there. So to start off with, Start by chaining up three as per usual. Turn and two doubles into that first stitch for the increase. And then into the next six stitches double so that we'll have a total of nine doubles to begin with. So I've already got three and here's four. 
and five, six, seven, eight goes into that eyelet space, and then nine. And then we need a series of eyelets. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, Gonna do that five times for five eyelets. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next. Chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next. Chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next. And how many do we have? We have four, we need one more. Chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, and we now have a total of five eyelets, and that's going to, as I said, bridge the gap. All right, then we've got to finish up the row with a total of nine doubles. We already got the one, then two goes into the previous row's eyelet, and three, four, five, six, there we go, and then into the last double, three doubles, so that we'll have a total of nine on this side. It'd be a little bit fiddly getting in there, but I am a persistent booger. So I got the one, I need two more into that same stitch. Okay, one more. And there you go. So it is in essence, nine doubles, five eyelets, nine doubles. And there you go, our first arch. Okay, so row eight and row nine are actually gonna be very, very simple. So row eight, to begin with, start by chaining up three, and turn two doubles into that first stitch for the increase. There we are and then double our way across for a total of 15. So I've already got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. There we go. All right, so we have two eyelets covered. It's that third middle eyelet that we want open. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, and continue on for another 14 for a total of 15 doubles, which does include our increase of three at the end. So I've already got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pull out a wee bit more yarn. Ten, 
10, 11, 12, and then 13, 14, 15, go into that last stitch. And I can do this. There we go. So this will be 13. And 14 and 15. And if you are having trouble, even more trouble than I'm having, um, getting into that third chain from the bottom, you might want to consider being mindful about when you're chaining up to go just a wee bit on the loose side. Not too loose, because you don't want your edge to be distorted, but you know, in the long run, it may help if you do that. At any rate, that is the end of row eight. So it is a grouping of 15, then a space, and then another grouping of 15. All right. Okay, row nine is going to be deliciously simple. It's, it's essentially what I like to call or think of as a, a mirror row because we're not doing anything particularly different. We're doing doubles over the doubles and eyelets over the eyelets, so to speak. So start off by chaining up three as per usual, and then doing your two doubles into that first stitch. Nothing really new or exciting there. Okay, and then double our way across until we have a total of 17. And then we'll do our eyelet and then another 17. So basically we're, we're following suit with what we have pre-existing. Very, very simple. Don't worry, it'll get more complex later. You know, when we have new shells or arches or whatever it is that you actually want to call them um, introduced, you know, then it becomes a little bit more complex. But, you know, we're, we're still early days here. Okay, and we are almost there to the eyelet. And two more. There we go. So at this point, I should have 17. Okay, so two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, and three makes 17. Perfect. It's nice that I can do math. All right, then chain one, skip a stitch, which is our eyelet, and then double into the next, and 16 more for the total of 17. So basically, we're just creating a straight line up with our eyelets. Couple more. And of course, as always, if you ever want to skip ahead, the timestamps are in the description box down below. Okay, so at the very end, three doubles into that last stitch for the increase on this side. It's all about symmetry. Okay, and then one more. And 
there you go. All right, so that is the end of row nine. So for this row, grouping of 17, Iowa at 17. And there you go. Okay, row 10. Row 10, we're going to introduce eyelets at the beginning and at the end. So we need to chain up four. Turn the work. And double into that first stitch. Okay, so that's our increase. And then another... 14 stitches for a total of 15. Okay, so we've already got three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and 15. Okay, then we need to uh, introduce some new eyelets. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, and we're going to cover over this eyelet. So double into the next stitch and into the next as well. So it's a total of three doubles. And then chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, and need another 14 more for a total of 15. So we've got the one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, and into the last goes 15, and then we do our eyelet at the very end. Something tells me I should follow my own advice and go a little bit looser on my chaining up. Okay, so this makes 15, and then chain one, and double into that same stitch for the end eyelet. And there you go. Okay, so eyelet, 15, grouping of three, grouping of 15, and eyelet at the end there. And there you go, we have some new arches forming already. Okay, row 11, you know what to do. Chain up three, and turn two doubles into that first stitch. and then double into each of the next two stitches for a total of five. First one goes into that eyelet that we created in the previous row, and then into that next stitch so that we have a total of five. And then chain one, 
skip a stitch, double into the next 11 stitches. Okay. So I already got three-ish. There we go. And four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And... 11. Now, these eyelets, we have to have them going out a little bit, separating. So, chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, pull out a little bit more yarn, and I'm going to need to do six more doubles for a total of seven. So, I already have the one. Two. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, and ten more for a total of eleven. Okay, that's four already. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11, then chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next. There we go. Double into that chain space. And then three doubles into the top of that last stitch for the increase. Okay. And one more. Alrighty. So for the recap of row 11, okay, so it's a grouping of 5, 11, 7, 11, 5. And there you go. So you can see how we have a new grouping of arches, uh, you know, doing their thing, you know, and pretty soon we'll have even more. Okay, row 12. Okay, row 12, we're going to introduce more of the, the bridging across the gap with a series of eyelets. So, but for now, start off by chaining up three and turning two doubles into the first stitch. There we are. And then double into each of the next six for a total of nine. Okay, and then one more, if I am not mistaken. Okay, so we've got two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Okay, then we need a series of eyelets, five of them. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next. Chain one, skip a stitch, 
double in the next, and again. And again. And again. There you go. So we have our five eyelets. And then 10 more doubles for a total of 11, because we've got the one right here. So that's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and 11, then we need our eyelets again. So chain one, skip a stitch, double in the next five times. Okay, one more. Okay, and then need to add eight more stitches for the total of nine on this side. So that's two, three, four, five. Six, and then seven, eight, nine, go into that last stitch. Okay, and one more to go. Ah, there we go. Ha uh ha. -huh. All right, so it is a grouping of nine, five spaces. 11, five spaces, and nine. And now we've got two finished arches. There we go. Alrighty, row 13 onwards and upwards. As per usual, chain up three. Try to go a little bit loose this time, Craig. There we go, okay. Then turn our work and two doubles into that first stitch. There we are. All right. And then an additional 12 stitches for a total of 15. Okay, so we've got four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and 15. Okay. Now, like we did down here, we're going to be going above that middle one. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next. There we are. And I'm going to need an additional 18 for a total of 19 stitches. Just work our way across. And if you don't feel like counting, although I recommend you do, um, 
you can just double crochet your way across until you reach the center eyelet of the next grouping. And by the time I get there, it should be a total of 19. Still good to pay attention to what you're doing, though. Okay, do, do, do. Couple more to go. Okay, so this covers the first one here, and then cover the second one. It's the third one we need open. There, grab a bit more yarn. All right, so if my calculations are correct, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19. Perfect. All right, so then after doing your 19, you need another eyelet above the middle there. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, and add an additional 14 for your total of 15. And three of those, of course, are going to be the increase at the end of the row. Okay, just a few more. Okay, up to the last one. So three into the top of that last stitch. And there we go. Ta-da! Okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and fifteen. Perfect. Okay. So we are currently at fifteen, nineteen, and fifteen. And there you go. Okay, row 14 is going to be another one of those mirror rows, so we're basically going to keep with the increase. Other than that, it is a matter of doing doubles over the doubles and eyelets over the eyelets. So chain up three and turn two doubles into the first stitch. So because of the increase, it's going to be 17, 19, 17, as opposed to last row, it was 15, 19, 15. I hope that makes sense. Because we get our increase there. And then just going to tool our way across until we reach our first eyelet. Okay, a couple more. All 
All right, so this at this point should be 17. So we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, plus 3, 17. Perfect. All right, and then eyelet over the eyelet. And 18 more for a total of 19. Takes a bit of doing, but for the most part, you can go on autopilot. <laughs> and just a few more. Come in. You know you want to. There you go. And two more. Okie dokie. Then chain one, going over that eyelet, skipping that stitch, and doubling into the next stitch, continuing our work upwards with the eyelets, and tooling my way across for a total of 17 on this side. And we already have five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, and then fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen, of course, are in the last stitch. There we go. Fifteen. Sixteen, and... Seventeen. Perfect. So we have 17, 19, and 17. Rock on. Okay, row 15. We're going to start with an eyelet. So start by chaining up four. One, two, three, and four. Turn, and then one double into that first stitch so that we have our eyelet. There we are. And then double into the next 14 for a total of 15. Okay, got the four, five, six, thank you. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and 
15. So then we need to introduce eyelets on either side of this one. So chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, into the next, and into the next four, total of three, just like we did right down there. And then chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next, and another 14 for a total of 15. It's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, <laughs> almost had it. I almost did. Okay, and I believe one more should do it. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen. Okay. Then again, chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next three stitches. There we go. Chain one, skip a stitch, double into the next 15. Okay, that's three already. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, then into the last one, it'll be fifteen, but then we have to add the eyelet at the end. So let me get into here first. There we go. All right, so I got my double into the last, then chain one and double into the same stitch. And there you are. Okay, that is the end of 15. So starting and ending with an eyelet, then we have groupings of uh, 15, 3, 15, 3, and 15. All right, there you go. Alrighty, my dears. So that's going to conclude the first part of this tutorial series for the Arches Filet Shawl. Really hope that you're enjoying it. And if you are, please give a little thumbs up button down below. You know that I appreciate your appreciation. I would be very much interested in your feedback. What sort of yarn are you going to be using? Um, you know, always interested in your feedback, your constructive criticism, and your creative journey. And I also want to say a big old thank you to my testers again for helping me make this possible. And if you're interested in getting a copy for yourself, go down to the link below, visit my Etsy store and pick up a copy there. Thank you ever so much for joining me and you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, 
stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.